how is this PC under $500? This is a budget preview PC from HP that is brand new, so no used parts or anything. If you are looking for a preview PC that's around 500 USD, so you're looking for a budget system, but at the same time you want good gaming experience, then you want to stay until the end because I will show you the level of performance that you can get with this system, the specifications, the software, and much more throughout this honest review. The link to this exact gaming PC will be down below in the video description. And that being said, let's start. So first I will talk about the specification. This PC has the RX 6440 graphics card and then you get a Ryzen 5 5600G for the CPU. The CPU and GPU combo is nothing too crazy because you are spending around $500. You cannot expect the highest end CPU and GPU combo but if you don't know anything about computers this system is pretty good actually for 1080p medium settings gaming or even high to ultra settings depending on the game and that's what I will show in a second the level of performance. Performance. Now for the rest of the components you get 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of SSD and I will go into more detail about the specifications in my complete review about this system which I will make for another video and I highly recommend you watching that one if you want to learn more about these PC components and a more technical review. Now let's talk about the design. I really like the design of this system. Actually HP makes white Victus 15Ls. I do like the black better rather than the white one but that's just personal preference and I do like the B in the middle where you can change the color with the software and that being said I will talk about the software right now which is the Omen software where you can change color of the system and then you have other tabs for example the performance control where you can go from balance to quiet mode or performance mode. If you go to performance mode, you are supposed to be gaining FPS, getting better performance by gaming. And if you go quiet mode, then the PC is going to be running more quiet. Just keep in mind that having the performance mode on is not gonna give you a real increase in terms of performance. So I would be using the balance mode or the quiet one, but I wouldn't be using the performance one because it's going to make your PC run harder and it's not going to be a day and night difference. You also have the system vital where you can see every component about your Victus and you can also see the temperatures for the CPU and GPU just to make sure that everything is running well. Overall, I really like the Omen software. To be honest, this system is very cheap and the software has everything that you need if you want to see how your PC is running overall and also if you want to change the lighting on your system. Right now, it's on light blue because that's the main color of Shadow Gaming PC. And now is the best moment where I will show you the gaming performance because of course it's not always the same on paper as it is in real life situations. So let's run some benchmarks and then I will give you my final thoughts. The first game that we are testing is the old reliable game GTA 5. Now, this game runs actually pretty smoothly on the Victus 15L at around 75 FPS on average. In some areas, it drops down to the 60s and in other areas, it goes up to the 90s. So 75 FPS on average is a really good number considering we are talking about GTA 5 on very high settings. This is basically ultra settings. The only thing that is turned off is MSAA, which is going to lower your FPS if you turn it on but it's going to make the game look better so you can put it in X2 or X4 and expect around 60 plus FPS on average so still very smooth performance considering this system is cheap. So GTA 5 is a very thumbs up and it's well optimized so you can run it pretty smoothly with this system. Now let's test another game that is a more easy to run title. Let's test an eSport shooter and that game is Valorant. We are playing Valorant this is 1440p resolution by the way, not 1080p. Medium settings, so if you turn down to 1080p, low settings, you can expect way higher frame rates. But anyway, with this system at 1440p medium settings, we were able to average over 150 FPS. So if you want a 144Hz 1080p or even 1440p monitor, you can buy one and enjoy the experience. Once again, very smooth performance for this type of game. And these are the type of games that you are supposed to play with this system.
system. Of course, you can play more high demanding games like Red Dead Redemption 2 and other games that I will be testing in my full in-depth video about this system. And I will also test Fortnite in that video. So if you want to see how this one performs in more titles, then click the subscribe button and the notification icon. That way you get notified when I upload that video. So in my opinion, this system for under $500 actually right now is going for around 475 USD. It's usually going for $500. So if you get it at 500, then the price is actually good. And in my opinion, for around that price, this system is really good, but as I said before, this system will be ideal if you want to play easy to run games at 1080p like Minecraft, Valorant, or even games like GTA 5. But if you want to play games like Cyberpunk 2077 on high to ultra settings, then you are looking to spend more money. Overall, for a premium PC that's around $500, I think that is actually worth the buy if you don't have any more to spend and you do not want to build a PC yourself. Because of course, if you build a PC yourself, you will be getting more performance for the price. But if you just want a premium PC, then this one is a good option. Keep in mind that one of the things I do not like about this system is the storage. It only counts with 256 gigs of SSD, which is fine if you're just going to play, for example, Minecraft and Valorant. But then if you want to install more games, it's not going to be enough. So in that case, Case, I do recommend you upgrading the storage. Trust me, it is going to be a good upgrade. But other than that, for around $500, I think it's a good system for the price. And you cannot expect much more out of a previous PC at this price point. So, of course, it's not the best previous PC in the market, but for the price, it's very decent. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see the best previous PCs of the month for every budget and every resolution, you will have that video in the top right of the screen. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the support. And I will see you on the next one.